Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon Not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. We're gonna talk about Crunchyroll. Yeah, apparently Crunchyroll was uh, selling your data out the back door. Who knew? Who could have possibly imagined uh, that Crunchyroll would do such a thing? They got sued, there was a class action lawsuit, and uh, you might be able to claim $30. $30, that's what your data is worth. They were sharing uh, your data with uh, places like Facebook, you know, and that's that's what all these these websites are right now. They're data mining sites. Uh, same with with uh, Rooster Teeth. We did the video yesterday talking about how Rooster Teeth was, was definitely dying. They were pulling a lot of their content off of YouTube and they were pushing people to their website and you go to their website and anytime you try to click on a video, they want your email address. You know, they're gonna sell your data, I think. I mean, I could be wrong, but it sounds to me like that's what's going on. So let's uh, let's talk about this lawsuit. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, check this out. So this is um, right after Crunchyroll bought, absorbed, and shut down Right Stuff Anime. We did a video on that. Uh, now Crunchyroll's in trouble for uh, selling your data out the back door. And I think Anime News Network broke it. I'll give them props for once. But actually, again, uh, more props. I'll give to the Mary Sue. They did a better job, I think, of shockingly, of, of breaking this down for people. Um, so what's the whole deal with the uh, settlement with Crunchyroll? In September of 2022, according to the Mary Sue, Crunchyroll parent company Sony was sued by Lisa Cuevos an Illinois Crunchyroll and Facebook user who viewed Crunchyroll while also being logged into her Facebook account. The case concerned personally identifiable information being shared with third parties like Facebook, meaning her identity and her Crunchyroll viewing behavior and viewing history was disclosed to Meta. That actually is pretty normal, but they need to tell you that that's going to happen. Plaintiff never gave defendant express written consent to disclose her personal viewing information, the original complaint claimed. Uh, the lawsuit hinged on the Video Privacy Protection Act. According to the lawsuit, Crunchyroll had supposedly violated federal law by not stating in its terms of service and privacy policy that it will share digital subscribers' private and protected personal viewing information with third parties, including Facebook. Um, yeah, I know, again, as people who run a couple of websites, we do have to disclose that information. They, they, if they did not, that's not good. When a Crunchyroll digital subscriber enters the website and watches uh, video media on the website, the website sends to Facebook certain information about the viewer, including but not limited to their identity and the media content they watched. Specifically, Crunchyroll sends to Facebook the video content name, its URL, and mo most notably the viewer's Facebook. Oh boy. The complaint saw three amended complaints, including one as recent as August 2023. Uh, by the second, two plaintiffs replaced uh, Cuevas, is Cuevas, and alleged similar experiences while using Crunchyroll. In the final amended complaint, the lawsuit stressed that Crunchyroll did not divulge that it would also share the plaintiff's personal viewing information with Google and Adobe, among Adobe, among other third parties. Uh, Crunchyroll monetized its database by disclosing its digital subscribers' personal viewing information to third parties in a manner allowing it to make a direct connection without the consent of its digital subscribers and to the detriment of their legally protected privacy rights. Critically, the personal viewing information defendant discloses to unauthorized third parties allows third parties to build from scratch or cross-reference cross and add to the data it already has in their own detailed profiles for its own users. So if you're all into furry kink and uh, if you're on Crunchyroll watching, watching some furry stuff, you know, whatever they have out there, uh, redo of healer is that on crunchy roll i don't know watching some stuff and then it's like oh hey look you're on facebook with grandma and here's an here's an ad for some some lewd anime stuff because of your viewing habits yeah uh, under the vppa which is a privacy act videotape service provider must have informed written consent from users before giving a third party access to personally identifying information how do you get your money from crunchy roll how do you get your money from Crunchyroll? Kroll offers settlement administration via an official website for the settlement. In short, you can use the platform, Kroll's platform, to file your claim and get your cash. Hurry, hurry, hurry. According to a settlement notice provided on the website, a settlement claim is open to any U.S. user who, from September 8th, 2020 to September 20th, 2023, 
was a registered user of Crunchyroll. Persons included in the settlement will be eligible to receive uh, a pro rata, meaning equal, portion of the settlement fund, which is about $30. It could be a little bit more, a little bit less. So for like a couple of months of Crunchyroll, <laughs> we'll give you a couple. We sold your information out the back door, but, uh, you know, we'll give you a couple months free of, of our website. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, ironically, you can use your settlement to pay for Crunchyroll and you can collect your settlement payment via PayPal or Venmo. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but how many subscribers does Crunchyroll have and how many millions of dollars could this potentially be? You know, and this is on top of them getting a black eye over right stuff and on top of uh, censorship and concerns and, and all of that, right? Now, this is also after Crunchyroll shut down one of, I think they had two, but they shut down one of their San Francisco offices too, uh, the one that was in the mall. I think they shut that one down to try to save some money. So like they're getting it from all sides, guys. But the problem is, is that Crunchyroll is the the biggest game in town. Basically, Sony owns anime in the West at this point. But I have to wonder if this isn't going to push people into uh, sale in the seven seas. And I don't mean the publisher. So let's see what's going on in the Anime News Network forums, which look like they were built in 1999. What's the old saying? You reap what you sow. How do you register for a, a member class member ID? I'm one of the the affected class. It's possible they're contacting people in phases so as not to overload their system or their bank account. I've been a paying member since they went legit, however many years ago, and I didn't get an email either. That's the thing. Yeah, people forget Crunchyroll started out as as a uh, pirate site, right? So yeah, the settlement fund is sixteen million dollars. $30 implies that uh, half a million U.S. registered users is the maximum that can be reached for $30. And that, that, it's on you to go to the website and claim your $30. But it's not going to help their image any, right? Um, crazy how people are shocked about this class action lawsuit against Crunchyroll. I mean, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Why did I just find out about the Crunchyroll lawsuit from my mail because they kept it under wraps guys um they did imagine crunchyroll not giving enough of a damn about music series even sub it in english guess that lawsuit really effed them up what crunchyroll got a lawsuit what i want money but i don't want to get scammed crunchyroll users when the 30 dollar paycheck comes in because of the class action lawsuit so that's, yeah it's pretty much everybody who's subscribed to crunchyroll over the last couple of years Get free money from Crunchyroll, guys. Yeah, it was really kept undercover, wasn't it? Uh, they didn't really say much about it until it came out that they settled. And they probably settled because they didn't want to drag it out in court. And they probably did violate the terms. I mean, they're very, very weird on websites now. You really have to disclose, like, everything. Every place that this data could wind up, you have to disclose it. Um, ju just because laws, you know. And they, then they have the GDPR stuff. And it's very, very hard to run a website now because of all these, these laws, you know? And um, yeah, I don't know guys. I mean, $16 million is probably not, not a whole lot of money to Crunchyroll, but they're shutting things down, shutting down their offices to save money. So it's gonna sting a little bit for sure. I'm gonna wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys. We'll talk later.